everyone and before anyone comments i know my eyeliner is wonky as hell like i did it this morning in a panic and i'm really sorry but this one is just completely off uh, in fact i'm not sorry it's too early to be doing winged eyeliner it is absolutely pissing it down and um i've started making vlogs again so i'm gonna do just like i do this every time here's a quick summary of uh things you've missed whilst i've been gone and also why i've started filming again so the other day my partner goes like oh this sort of weather not the pissing down with rain like a few days ago it was really sunny um and he was like oh this sort of weather reminds me of when you used to make your little vlogs and it would be a really sunny day and you'd go oh i'm gonna take myself out on a day out um which is really cute and also kind of like tragic that i'd be like oh it's nice i'm gonna take myself out um but he worked evenings enough of that so he was like, oh, it reminds me of when you used to make videos. And I was like, oh, that was fun. And I just didn't make time for it. Um, but it's a new year. The last video I made was way back last year, literally in like June. So it's a new year. Why not start again? Five things you've missed. Anyway, this video is going to be so short and snappy because I think the reason that I didn't carry on making videos before was that I was filming like five minutes per clip and they weren't downloading onto my laptop properly i had to keep cutting and pasting and cutting and pasting and it took forever five things you've missed number one i got my septum pissed um number two i got a hell of a lot more tattoos i'm absolutely covered um number three i'm going to spain in march and i'm going to greece in may so i've got some exciting trips coming up that i'm going to be taking loads of videos and photos and stuff um what else number four i'm working a tattoo convention next week my first ever convention and i hopefully fingers crossed will be taking a gopro and number five i'm back on tiktok i took a really long break um i can't remember if i said that in a previous video but i took a really long break from tiktok because i just found like there was a lot of savage people in those comments and that is frightening to me because <laughs> i'm so sensitive um but it's a new year i've got thicker skin uh, and i'm back on tiktok so if you want to follow me it is over here i changed my handle as well so it's not ink by fames or lifestyle by fames it is just simply fame. another reason i wanted to film this vlog um is because i've got a couple of fun things this week i'm getting tattooed tomorrow um now normally i get tattooed in the shops that i work in so it's exciting to go out my way to go to a shop i've never been to before and i'm going to heartbreaker in brighton so i am taking a little day trip to brighton tomorrow by myself um so i thought I'll give myself company and I'll film the little day. Um, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. Hey guys, um, I'm so sorry for how dark it is in here. Uh, I do actually have a ring light, which like, I'll move it. Can you see that there's a ring light? Um, but I need a new one. It's not great. The quality's not great. Um, and the plug doesn't work. Sometimes you have to wiggle the plug to make it work. Enough of that. Um, it's tattoo day. Hello guys. I'm up bright and early because it's tattoo day. So as you can see, I'm quite tattooed already. And this year it's my goal to get super tattooed. I already got my chest tattooed this year. Um, my thumb. Um, a few other ones this candle but yeah today i'm getting one on my shoulder and a little gap filler so i'm actually traveling into brighton to get tattooed today um which is a bit of a journey for me but i'm gonna get the train um i'm hoping to get there a little bit earlier have some lunch have a little wander around um film some stuff for this video and maybe even do like a little a mini video that's like a pov walking around brighton on a spring day vibe even though the weather looks shit um, but yeah my hair and makeup's all done i've got a, just a big baggy top on um because there's actually nothing worse than wearing uncomfortable clothes and getting tattooed it's not it is it's the worst i've been there i've done that it's a comfy clothes day and i think i'm just gonna put some joggers on underneath um and my converse and maybe a big hoodie and that's about as glamorous as we're gonna get so this is gonna be my last video in the house next time you see me i'll be in break Good morning, my lovelies. Um, I've gotten ready really quickly. I woke up quite late. 
um i got back late from brighton yesterday and here is the finished tattoo it is so so beautiful um the colors oh my god the line work is stunning i also got this little um playboy gap filler as well but yeah my arms looking like really complete i've just got to go to work today um the only thing i have to do today is basically work and then edit some videos but i've got to go up early and do a guest spot tomorrow so you'll see probably not a lot of videos from today maybe a few more from tomorrow um and then sunday i'm going for brunch so you will see snippets of sunday and then honestly sunday is like my ultimate lazy day um so you'll probably be seeing me do lazy stuff hello my loves i have had a palava um i know that i'm dramatic anyway but i'm gonna be more dramatic now so i was meant to be working in a gas spot today um excuse the lighting <laughs> i've got like a little glowy window um i was supposed to be working at a guest spot today and uh all the trains are cancelled so it would have been an eight hour bus journey uh and it would have cost me like a fortune like 100 quid um to go down the road which is absolutely ridiculous like i don't drive so i can't get anywhere when there's a train strike so today i literally don't know what to do um i've got ready got dressed i'm gonna nip into work like my normal local workplace um because my partner can drop me there um but he wouldn't be able to drop me at my guest spot because it's just too far for him to go and come back and he's doing a gig later like he's playing a gig later um so we wouldn't have enough time but yeah so today i'm gonna go into work see if there's anything i can do like we've got um a convention next week so i might try and like bundle my stuff up and like box it up basically just prep myself for next weekend um because i've got nothing to do and i don't just want to sit at home and as you can see it's a really nice day so like if i'm sat at home just in bed it's gonna be a waste of a day i'm all makeup off cozy clothes now um just wanted to tell you what i got up to today so i've actually already filmed this once but the lighting was really bad and you could hear a lot of noise in the background so i thought i'd re refilm it to make everyone's lives easier and i'm just editing now but basically the guest spots i do for contacts i do them twice a month in the same shop and i've been doing it for like nearly two years now so i'm friends with the guys and the gals that are in there um and i'll explain the train situation and like everyone was totally chill everyone understood because it was just impossible to get there like even if I did get a four hour bus and I was late, I'm only going to be in the shop for like a few hours before I'd have to get a four hour bus home. But the girl I was tattooing today or meant to be tattooing today is a regular customer and she's lovely and I've moved her appointment to Monday, which works out well because my partner can actually drive me there so I can 100% guarantee that I, I will be there because I'm not relying on trains. So yeah, tattooing her on Monday now and, and she was happy to do that. And it actually worked out better because I was meant to be tattooing her at four o'clock today, but I can tattoo her Monday morning. Today I got up, got ready pretty early because I wasn't sure if I was going to um, nip into work. Had to nip into work and just had a chat with my boss. Basically, I'm working at a convention next week. It's my first ever tattoo convention and I am shitting myself. It's tired, but it is nerve wracking. Um, so today i was like right this is a good opportunity to get everything prepped for next week see me in the next couple of clips i had to make some little frames with qr codes in um had to frame some prints prep my prints basically like make a checklist of all the stuff i need to bring in like my small bag in my big bag i'm gonna order a carrier case tonight off amazon prime morning or late afternoon evening um we went to smith's i had to pick up a couple of things for a few birthdays that are coming up next month um but my partner got me something special well a couple of nice things actually which i'm really excited about firstly it's been quite an overwhelming week so it all came to a head and i got quite upset um when we were out for food and then um yeah my partner bought me this um it's like a little springtime squishmallow i'm so obsessed with it um it's made everything better today so long um other lego flowers the cherry blossoms from the sunflowers he always says that i'm like a sunflower which is the cutest thing in the world and i got cherry blossoms um because we went to japan last year um and yeah i'm gonna make them tonight and i think i might film like a cute little time lapse light some candles have a cup of tea and we will make them together this is the last bit of talking i'm gonna do in the video i think um well from today saturday 
tomorrow I'm getting up at nine and going for brunch with my friend. Um, not sure what I'm doing for the rest of tomorrow, but I might do some painting. It's been a long time since I've painted. Um, but for now, have a good Saturday night. Guys, I'm gonna motherfucking scream. I've filmed these clips so many times today and I am just not prepared to do it again. And the reason I'm saying this now is because I've just rewatched um, about six clips and realised I have eyeliner all down my face. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry. So if you watch those videos and you think like, God, like why has she got sideburns? It's eyeliner that I haven't cleaned off my face. Yeah. So, um, sorry, not sorry. As you can see, it is a gorgeous sunny Sunday. This room is like a sun trap. Like the sun comes in, I feel glowy. Um, I've gotten up, gotten ready, done my hair, done my makeup, got dressed, and it's only 8.30. You're thinking, why are you up so early on a Sunday? Like Sundays are the day of rest. Um, but me and my friend, we go for brunch on Sunday. So it's brunch day and we have a little Instagram where we review the brunch places and today we're going to the ground works anyone that lives local to me knows the ground works because it is good the brunch is good um but we've tried to go before and they've had no tables for like 45 minutes so we're up earlier today to try and get a table yesterday i completely crashed i just got into bed and fell asleep um played like 10 minutes of stardew valley and then just completely knocked out I was a mess yesterday. I was like trying to film, had eyeliner on my face, couldn't concentrate. I had to refilm so many times. Uh, but today I feel a little bit more put together. Show you guys the outfit of the day. If you want an update on the tattoos, they are so beautiful, but they are getting to that scabby stage. So I'm moisturizing them as much as I can. The one on my crease obviously is a little bit sore because when you bend, the scabs are gonna move. But the colours on this are so stunning. So many people have said to me, like, oh my god, that is like the brightest tattoo I've ever seen. I'm so excited about it. So normally I wear a lot of makeup and a very grungy, like, I don't wear a lot of colour. Because as a tattooist, you can't, you just throw it down yourself. Um, but today I'm wearing a little white top and blue jeans. I'm really changing it up. <laughs> I literally went downstairs and my partner was like, oh, <laughs> who are you? I was like, oh. It's just a nice bright sunny day. I feel like wearing something light and airy. Me and my um me and my partner, me and my friend, we might as well be <laughs> No, me and my friend. Um we're going for brunch and then afterwards we're just gonna go to a coffee shop and we're gonna take uh laptops, iPads, whatever, and we're gonna do some like fashion mood boarding because we were both saying to each other like recently I just have no fashion inspo and I just feel like I go into the shops and there's nothing I like because I don't know what I'm looking for. And that's why I'm, I think I'm dressing kind of plain because I'm like, what, what do I want to wear? So we're going to go on to Pinterest, have a little browse at some fashion inspo, which I'm excited about because that's the sort of stuff like I like doing. It's like a chill Sunday activity. Here is the outfit of the day. For context, I'm a medium, 10 to 12 on top and 12 to 14 on bottom. Um, but these jeans I got in a 14 because I like a looser fit when it comes to like a baggy jean. Um, but these little tops were in Primark, I think they were like £3.50. Um, so I got a white one and I got a black one as well. But yeah, cute. <laughs>